Welcome to the cleaning video. This video is going to be a basic outline of some of the main cleaning instructions to keep the Hedonesia community running nice and smoothly. This is the laundry zone. Now we have a few different things that we do here. We have the laundry, which is a wonderful brand new one. We realize buying new stuff is better sometimes for eco efficiency. So it's got the, um, the dial here. This is the turning on. This is for your setting to normal. Over here is the only other one that you need to uh, touch right here, uh, and that's to set it to tap cold, because we only do cold water washing. Then you put your clothes inside. We use something very unique at Edenesia. They're called Eco Nuts. And with Eco Nuts, basically, we use these little bags. We usually throw about two or three of them inside with the laundry. And then these are the eco nuts. They're actually a South American nut that creates soap and actually does a great job of cleaning clothes. So we buy them by bulk at the uh, health food store and we use uh, little baggies of them in the laundry. Since we've been doing this, it's cut down our messiness before with liquid detergent and powder detergent. There was always a soapy mess here. Now it's clean efficient and way way eco-friendly because our laundry drains out to an area where we have decorative plants but this is an eco-efficient laundry that uses less water and with using these we've got pretty much almost natural water coming out to the plants out, out, outside and so it works out really well um, we do have storage of some of the cleaning supplies. When we're washing rags, this is a Dr. Brahma's bottle, but we actually take old soap and we put it in the head, put, put extra water, and we use that in the soap powder section when we're doing things like washing the rags, because we use a lot of rags here. We don't use uh, paper towels. We use rags for everything, and then we just keep washing those, and that's, um, we found that to be way more uh, eco-friendly than the uh, paper towel system. So um, we've got the cleaning stuff here and toilet paper. When cleaning the toilet, we keep that in this barrel right now. We've got a whole supply of them. They're all in here. And uh, that's what we use for the toilet. Over in the toilet, I'll show you where that is. We've got the little the fish tank. We try to make sure that this is clean. This is the mosquito eating fish in here. So we always try to make sure there's not too many weeds or water lilies growing on top. And in the, the toilet paper for the toilet, we try to make sure that there's three in storage and uh, fresh ones there. So I'm going to have to put two more up there in the barrel. We also have a little uh, section for feminine products, and we always keep a supply there as well. Because many times when women need it, they need it right now. And so it's right there for them. Yeah. We go into the shower right over here and over here this one what happens is many people use soaps and everything like that the soap drips it goes down on the ground it makes the soap stay so all we do here we keep always a scrubbing brush here we just scrub this down when we're uh, uh, when we're on cleaning shift and basically the idea is to make it look roughly like this we wipe down the, the uh, walls and counters and neaten up some of the things, um, the condiments and shampoos and everything like that to make sure it looks good. If we see something like this, something that's an old shampoo that looks like it's been left here for a long time, again, it's probably because it has. It's now what we call an abandoned shampoo. What we do with those is we'll take those and we'll put them in this area here, in the laundry area, we put them here. As you're going along this way, you do a cleanup of the toothbrush zone. Uh, again, trying to keep people's personal stuff on the upper levels or in the drawers here. And um, basically wiping down the counters and stuff 